hi everyone welcome back again to my youtube channel if you are new here thank you very much for passing by and then if you're returning subscriber thank you very much for the continuous support and the continuous love so the first thing you will see is welcome to delta state yes welcome to delta state we are in delta state and the first place you see is the guo terminal can you guys see it then followed by the police station office is very very close to the river ninja bridge and then followed by this is god is good i think that or is it the g or the g o so this is normally called this place is normally called toll gates when you enter asaba because i think there's a toll gate park that is up there but most people just call this place toll gate so in today's video i'm going to tour you guys in some places in asaba just along the asaba bini express road and i'm going to detain you guys one or two important things you need to know about this wonderful city so after this video you guys can ask yourself is asaba really worth coming to for a tourism or is it really like you ask yourself questions and then you give yourself answers because this video is going to answer some of your questions that you have in mind about asaba and i'm going to tell you guys one or two important things you need to know about this city and then little things you need to know about delta yes so the first thing you need to know is that we are currently in onisha saba road yeah you are currently in onisha saba road there's a place you reach that's called the um, asaba bini express road also it's still in the same road all of them are still the same thing like because of the connection of onisha to asaba and also the connection of bini to uh asaba also so in this video as i said before i will tell you guys one or two things you need to know about this lovely city and then i'll be showing you guys one or two important places you need to know when you are coming to asaba so you, when you see it you will easily identify those places so asaba is a growing city which is located in the western bank of the river ninja you guys can see that we just enter asaba through the river ninja bridge so guys anytime you see this walk over you guys will know that we are very close to the Kwale park there's a park around here that is going to Kwale. can you guys see that road that is leading inside that road most is mostly if you want to go inside asaba city you can follow that road and enter it's a very very easy entrance to asaba city yeah and around that place is the omon that's normally where the awosa people used to stay down i think i'm not sure you guys the place well that's where the awosa people normally used to stay where then they you go you go there you see all these days sell all these onions all these things you know i was people they normally used to stay together in any particular area they are in a state so asaba is in the oshimili south local government area this city is really growing and also the fastness in development is really rapid because mostly people that stays in onisha most of them used to relocate to this asaba you know because of the sit at home stuff on monday but when you come to asaba those kind of things are not there so most people are relocating their businesses from onisha to asaba a lot of people i know a lot of people and also most people feel more secured to live in asaba compared to onisha like i know most people that are i know most people that have businesses in onisha main market most of them live in asaba i don't really know why and that is one of the reasons why the cost of living especially the cost of living in this city is really becoming expensive yes the cost of living especially houses and feedings on feeding share is really expensive but one thing i like about this city or will i say about this state in particular is that when it comes to fuel yeah you understand you know this state they have a more crude oil like most people used to transport themselves from especially me and my mom we used to transport ourselves from onisha to asaba here to buy maybe fuel because the price is here is a little bit more cheaper compared to in onisha most likely if you are coming here to buy fuel maybe you want to fill your tank because you will not just come here and just buy little and then go back no you have to fill your tank and then maybe you can now use it all through anyhow you want to use it when you are in onisha so that's one thing yours you also need to know about this city their cost of fuel is cheap so currently we are at coca 
junction flyover this is the flyover when you follow down you meet the coca junction so this is the lovely flyover as about lovely flyover that was built when this um, flyover was under construction there was a lot of hold up here and then when you go down this coca flyover you see the shop right at the other side of the coca junction you see the shop right in case if you're looking for shop right and then there are many other places that are there and also there's also a road where you want to go to the immigration that's down when you follow the down of that co um, coca um, junction you want to go to many other places and so that is it Sha. just a little bit thing about this uh, coca flyover stuff so when i was in primary school we normally used to come here for excursion in asaba so that means that the percentage of entertainment in this city is let me i don't want to put it 100 percent but let me put it 90 percent but there are a lot of entertainment in asaba so in case if you are looking for a tourist area or a place of entertainment this city is a very lovely place that you can come for that so the meaning of asaba means i have chosen well and this name was given to the founder the father founder of asaba so that's what asaba means so when you come to asaba asaba is made up of the egala people and the Igbo people but mostly the Igbo people are being called the anoma people so that is what the Igbo people are called here so if you are looking for where summit junction is that place we passed few minutes ago that is where summit junction is is also a very good entrance to asaba city also so when you come to this um city they have universities here you can see the university of abraka very close to asaba and there are other private universities when you come to delta states mostly they have um they hardly have um, a federal university here mostly is either a state university or a private university and one thing i like about delta state is that they don't joke with education that is one real fact about this state let me just talk about this they don't joke with their education and also they also have a stadium in asaba they have a stadium in asaba and also when you come to asaba they have three major markets you see the obogonogo market you will see the infant jesus market you will see the i will leave the remaining above you will see the cable point market and other markets also i'm going to list all of them for you above so they also have an airport as a means of transportation and i'm going to show you guys where the airport is located many people from onisha like the easy if they want to enter if you want to enter onisha newi like places that are very close to asaba they normally used to follow through this asaba airport on I, I know that an anambra state has an airport but mostly that this asaba airport is the most closest to an um onisha so that's the reason why most people they normally used to follow this onisha airport um asaba airport so this city was also known for the production of palm oil but now a lot of things have changed in asaba because of the rapid development when you come to asaba a lot of people are selling land a lot of, a lot of people are building estates and many other things so currently we are in the airport asaba airport you guys can see the airport opposite it so that's where the airport is a very very big airport though and this airport was opened to passenger in the year 2011 13th july 2011 so a little thing i want to emphasize on before coming to the end of this video is that uh i'm just it's just that it's nothing though but i just feel that asaba is meant to have gota by now you understand because when since i know asaba since i've been little that i know asaba asaba doesn't have gota you understand but when you come to cities like abo i've been to abo before i'm going to take you guys there also uh there is they have gota they have good roads those things are kind of important there Asha. so one other thing you will notice is that unlike before when you are passing asaba a lot of places you will not see houses and all those kind of things but when you are passing asaba you are seeing all those bushes and now houses you understand as i said before it, the the development in this city is really 
rapid a lot of people are coming here to buy land and many other things can you guys see up like in the front see houses and see a lot of development you guys can notice that the color of transportation in this place in this city also i forgot to say it is white and blue so that is their color of transportation yeah so anyway Shaya, thank you guys so that's what i just want to say before coming to the end of this video so if you have watched to this extent of my video thank you very much for watching and also expect part two of this video this video has a part two and i'm going to be dropping it very very soon thank you guys